Hey team, thanks for clicking right on another four-wheeler adventure in the beautiful Ottawa Valley during fall time. It's great out here. I'm going to talk to you guys about the DCT on the Honda. I got 850 kilometers on it right now. Uh, I've had it for just over a year and I'm going to tell you guys what it's like one year later. So if you don't own one, you might be asking yourself, what is it like riding a DCT? I have another video I made actually last year when I first got it. Um, I'll leave it up here in the link and uh, you can check that out um, and then see what you think. I love the DCT. But for this review, let's go through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And let's start with the ugly. So first of all, um, the DCT, when you switch it into gear, I've had a couple of times, maybe three or four, where it wouldn't go from neutral to drive or neutral to reverse. It just clicks and clicks and clicks and clicks and you get two dashes on the da uh, two dash lines on the little display and it clicks and clicks and clicks and then I guess sometimes it stops. It might click five or six times. I'm not really sure. I've never really seen or counted. I wish I've got it on video. Um, but sometimes you just rock the machine and it'll go into gear. Sometimes you give a little bit of throttle, it'll go into gear. It happened uh, early on when I had the machine. I was out with some friends riding and we'd done a, day, a whole day of riding actually. And then I went to start it and go drive again and it just clicked and clicked and clicked. So that's the ugly. Um, I've never really had any major problems. I do think I have the update for the computer. I asked the dealership to put it in. They argued, I don't know why, but I think they put it in and it seems to be shifting fine. Um, so that's the ugly. Okay, and now for the bad. The worst part about the DCT, and it's, it's really like consistent, and it's, it's probably the worst part, is when the machine is cold and it goes on the first ride, the first two, three, maybe four shifts are really hard. They have a big lurch to them. Um, it happens every time. It doesn't matter if it's summer. It doesn't matter if it's winter. That first couple of shifts when you get the DC go DCT going, no matter how long you let the machine sit at idle to warm up, they're just the first couple of shifts are super hard. They feel like you feel like it's reloading a shotgun and you lurch forward and it's big, heavy hit. And the dealer says that's normal. It feels really unnatural. Uh, it happens consistently. I've seen online a whole bunch of other people with the same problem, problem. Um, so that's just something you have to get used to. It, it doesn't matter what you do. I don't know if there's an oil that would solve that or if there's another like shift program update that would solve that. But right now the bad, the worst part about the DCT is the big, huge lurch. And the good. It's awesome. I love it. It's great for trail riding. Uh, you don't have to shift gears. You just put it in the electronic shift program and it just bangs off the gears for you. Especially once it's warmed up after those first three or four shifts, it bangs like butter. Um, lots of people joke that it sounds like a shotgun. It, it, it actually does sound like a shotgun reloading every time you, you click through a gear. Um, but it's awesome. It bangs up the gears no problem. It bangs down the gears as you need them. And you can shift the gears by your own thumb. Um, if you check out the video that I did, what it's like riding it, you can see that you don't even need to let off the throttle. You really get used to it really fast and it's pretty awesome to use. Um, I really love it for the trail riding that I do. Um, it's mostly, it's a lot of flat stuff, a lot of forest trail, and uh, it's really convenient and uh, anybody can ride it. So that's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. I do like the foot shift, but the DCT, it's just so convenient. Shifting through with your thumb is great, especially when you have gloves on or big clunky boots. Um, <laughs> I have a ride through water, I lift my feet. I don't have to worry about shifting up or down. Um, I really like it. If I had to buy another one, I would. Hope this helps you guys with your decision when you're trying to buy a new four-wheeler. If you're looking at a Honda between the foot shift and the DCT, I've got no problems with it. I don't drown my machine, but it's been really good so far and uh, I love it. Okay, that's it for this review of the DCT. One year later, 850 kilometers on that machine and uh, I love it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel and I will see you soon. Hopefully no one's out here listening to me. Can't tell if there's hunters around. They're gonna be like, who the f is this guy?